Yo guys, finally the new Pokemon X Vocaloid track is out. Inabakumori Electric Forecast featuring Hatsune Miku. Couple things. First off, really excited for this because as much as I love the Inabakumori Kaiyuki pair, this is like the the twice or thrice time that Miku has been an Inabakumori song, unless I'm totally tripping and there's more. But I don't think that he uses her very often at all. Like Am I, am I tripping? I don't know. <clears throat> Second off, as much as I'm excited for this, I am kind of like, damn. Because I saw a post from my friend Zan that made me think about it. Because I also did think that we were going to get a song for each type. And of course, they were going to start with Pikachu and Electric. But this one's Electric too. So I think we're just going to get 18 Pikachu songs. Oh boy. I get it. I get it. Everyone wants to do a Pikachu song. Kind of disappointing. But there's, I don't know. I feel like if anyone's going to do something wacky, it's going to be Pinocchio P, or if they, like, pull out, like, a Kikuo, which I'm hoping. Like, I could go on and on about... There, there's more than 18 producers that I would want to do this. Let's let's start at that. So, I could talk all day about producers I'd love to do this. But, alas, there could only be 18, and four of them have already been announced. Thankfully, my favorite producer's in there, Pinocchio P. But there's also other ones that I would love to see take crack at it. Um, and we could talk about that forever. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was kind of goofy that it's it probably just gonna end up being all Pikachu songs, which I don't know why I didn't think that beforehand. Um, and then I saw people sad about like, I think I mentioned this in the Deco one that like they're not using the designs, but I think that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, and, and yeah, before we get into it, I do have a playlist called it's gonna be the Pokemon X Miku playlist where it has not only my Deco reaction to the Pikachu or the Vol the Voltage song. But also, what was it? Bolt, Bolt, what, 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 how am I forgetting what the song's called? I literally listen to it all the time. I'm so obsessed with that song. It's such a banger. Is it Volt Tackle? It is Volt Tackle. I'm so smart. But um, also, my tier list of each Miku design for my second channel. Go check that video out, please. It'll be in the description or the first comment. And yeah, uh, let's get into it. We got it. It's going to be a banger. Uh, excited to see what I recognize. And it's Eat a Bucket Moon. So crazy. Already loving the, the fucking exaggerated delay, delay in the vocals. Love that. It's not even delay off the main vocal. It's literally ad-libs, but it's like, it's not delayed. I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. My bad. I cannot re wait to, to, to read the lyrics for this one. Mm. I'm loving this. Hey, 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 yeah. The fucking the, 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 I've heard a few sounds so far, but like I heard one kind of near the start. I didn't know what exact like BGM it was, so I didn't mention it. And then that was obviously like the the what do the fucking like level up EXP eating shit. I don't fucking know. Like the rare candy, like when you eat it, it makes it sound right. I'm tripping. I don't know. But um, it, it's like it sucks. Some of them sounds I I remember, but I don't know the names of any of them, so it's like ah. But I like the tempo of the song as well. I mean, to be fair, most of Inabakimori songs are this tempo. But I think it does work a lot. Especially once I can fucking read the lyrics. I'm sure that'll be nice. Uh, but I also do think that overall, Deco definitely did not necessarily put more effort into it. But he definitely did do more references. Which is fine that you're not, like, Ina Buck and Morty's not doing as much. Because still doing plenty. Like, it's enough. I'm Like, for sure. It's just crazy. The, the, the thinking about the difference of approach between producers. <laughs> Whoop. 
seemed like I heard another little thing. It might have been a PC sound, I don't remember. It's a banger. That's all we can care about at the end of the day, right? And also, can we talk about how fucking cute Inabakamori's Miku is? Holy shit. The art style, literally, oh my god. Oh my fucking god, so good. Also, this Pikachu, like, it reminds me of one of the cards I had, because th you gotta be a real one to know that there's the different Pikachus. There's the fat Pikachu. There's like the, I, I want to say this is like Gen 4 Pikachu. There's the modern Pikachu. Pikachu slowly changes. Let's see. Because there's one card that I'm thinking of specifically. It might have actually been like a Gen 3 card. Not necessarily like a Gen 3 card, but like, like around the time the games come out. But I guess it was a Hoenn set card or something. I don't remember. Uh, Pikachu card. I'm just gonna see. I know there's a fucking million, so it might take me a second to find it, but I know exactly which one I'm thinking of. It might have actually been a, a, a fucking Sinnoh set one. But there's one with almost like the same face shape. It's so I can show what I fucking mean, because I can't even think about it right now. I actually have the card. Let me fucking. I have my, my Pikachu shit somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. It's not this one. I'll tell you that. It's not this one, but I do have a Pikachu card, a couple Pikachus here I can show you. Uh, this one, you know, the big 2016 X and Y like reprints or whatever. I think I have another one in the back. What about? Hold on. I have my other ones in the back, but I have my two Pikachus in the front. I'm still collecting, just a bit slower because your boy's been broke. But where the fuck are my Pikachus? Oh, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Sorry, my room's fucking dirty right now. Hold on. This is, well, this used to be my trading binder, but I was in the process of changing it to my main one, as you can fucking tell. You got, like, some bangers and bops. I want to say my Pikachus are in here, but I could also be very wrong. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Some of my Pikachus are in here. Like, you see these bangers? These bad boys? But these aren't the ones that I'm talking about. There is one. I did order it by year, so let me go back a bit. This one! Bottom, well, right for you guys, this one. You can't tell me that that doesn't have the similar structure as this little man right here. Am I wrong? Or am I right? Or am, am I wrong? Wait, I don't fucking know. Eh, maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. Oh, bro, one of my favorites. I had this one as a kid. And I still have the one I had from a kid, but it's fucking shit quality, the Delta series. So I loved having my still type Pikachu, but obviously I wanted a good quality one. So I, I, I bought a new one and it was like five bucks or something. I also have, do I have it? Interesting. Did I not fucking buy it after all? Oh wait, no, this isn't the one I was talking about, but look at my fucking, uh, my, uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet one. And then, I could have sworn I bought the fucking first movie Pikachu, but it's not here. So either it was one of my cards, because I had a few that just never came, or I just didn't actually get it. I'm, I'm fucking dumb. Sorry for the random fucking card talk, but I mean, it's a fucking Pokemon reaction. And, I, I look, I love Pokemon so much that before my anime channel, Eddie Hates Anime, I almost started a fucking Pokemon channel. I don't know what it would have been called. It wouldn't have been fucking Eddie Hates Pokemon because I wasn't like the joke back then. Only reason that's my name is because it was a joke among my friends because whenever we talk about anime, I'd be like, have you read the manga? So it became a joke that I hated anime because I read the manga instead. But no one fucking knows that. And it just happens to work for like channel names, you know, like Eddie Hates This, Eddie Hates That. But it would have been like, Eddie Pokemon. Mmm, yeah. Oh, God. But I still love Pokemon content, so I'll still be making more. Uh, let's continue the song. Sorry. Oh, shit. Ah! 
I I can't tell. Is that like? That's okay. I don't. I it, well, hold on. Okay, it is. Cause I saw this before. They wrote like, cause on even on the Deco one, people wrote down all the references that they could tell. And I wasn't gonna try and refer to it during the video, but after I do definitely plan to go through and then look up the originals and do that. But that does make sense. That one's from uh, fucking Ruby Sapphire Emerald. That's fire. There's actually more at the start than I realized. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this then. Is that really? Holy shit, wait. Oh shit! Hold on a minute! Okay, wait, Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver are the best Pokemon games ever. You're telling me I didn't catch this? No, fuck. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This shit's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. It, oh, to be fair, it's been like 10 years since I played the older ones, so like, come on now. Come on now. Is this it? I don't know which one that was. I don't know. Still fire. <laughs> this one? Awesome. See, some of those background noises I was assuming were from the games, but like, you know, I'm not the biggest Pokemon instrumental historian as much as I wish I fucking was because it's the coolest thing ever. Like Pokemon music. Oh, shit! Yo! Oh, my God! Bro, I, I'm so sad. Back when I was younger, I had both of these games. I had, like, most Pokemon games. But when I turned, like, 12, I was like, man. my Okay, backstory. My dad didn't really like that I liked Pokemon. And he told me, like, if you're a certain age and still like Pokemon, you're a weirdo. Because, like, one time I went to this card tournament. And there was, like, a like an old guy. Like, he was, like, 30-something. And he was still playing. And he was, like, your typical... I, I'm saying this in quotations because I don't believe this. But, like... He was a, kind of fat, he had glasses, you know, they, people were, might have seen him as a loser. I don't believe that. As a kid, I thought he was cool and I was hanging out with him. My dad, you know, he, he was raised, you know, in, you know, in a different place than me, you know, a good old L.A., you know. So he didn't understand the culture of the game. So he thought I'd be weird if I was too, like, old, like a teenager and still playing that shit. So when I turned 12, I was like, man, I think it was, like, exactly when I turned 12, I was like, man, I'm a preteen now. I can't be out here like Pokemon. So I gave away a hell of my cards. I I gave away these two games to my fucking cousin, which he doesn't have no more. And I'm sad because now these are like 400 bucks each. I gave away some. I gave away my Pokemon Yellow. Surprisingly, I don't know why I didn't give away my Pokemon Blue, Red, Crystal, Gold, or Silver. I'm glad that I didn't though, because I still have my Game Boys. And then I gave away like the Black and Whites. I gave away the the Sinnoh games, the Diamond and Pearl. Uh, I don't think I had Platinum, but I did play Platinum through a friend that let me borrow it. Um, sorry for getting so off track. It's Pokemon. You don't expect me to go off. Like, I go off tangents on normal shit. You think I'm not going to go off tangent on Pokemon? I'm so sorry, guys. God damn. Unsubscribe. Please. Damn, I don't care. Um, uh, what was I going to say? But yeah, looking back, God damn, was that a weird reaction for me? I could have just kept it. I could have just fucking kept it. Who cares? Damn. But yeah, and, and then of course, you know, in Latino parent fashion, when I tell my dad, he's like, I don't remember that. Yeah, no one remembers their worst mo- I, I, I remember my worst moments. Come on now. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It, not a big deal. Um, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a grown-ass man that can play Pokemon now and no one can judge me for it. Uh, well, I mean, I'll judge myself for it, but who cares? Uh, check out some of these other ones. Uh, we'll check them out later. Black and White 2. That was my, like, my favorite game of the time. So. So is it the woo part or what? Like, it's really like- it's this weird deja vu that's like making me think like I don't know man with some of these It is what the fuck Oh bro okay with that De with decos they were way more interface and it was more like individual sound bites with Inabakimori they made like the instrumental out of the the actual BGM and made it a lot more subtle I feel like because it's more like extended OSTs rather than the iconic sounds that you're so used to from all these years that you hear a lot more than like a one game or one town or one battle OST, if that makes sense. Holy shit. That's so cool. Oh shit, there's a lot more than, than the other guy wrote. 
Dude, I okay. This goes way deeper than I realized. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, damn. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait to fucking check that out later. Cause, like I said, since it's been so long since I have played most of these games, like I replay them all the time. But let's be real. Unless you're like the goaded, cause there are a lot of people that do know a lot of the BGMs off or OSTs off of like their head, like their favorite town music, their favorite route music, favorite battle music. Unfortunately, I'm not as knowledgeable off the top of my head as I wish I was. Although if you played me one, I might be like, oh shit, I remember that one. So I'm not going to be able to be like, oh, this is fucking this song from this route. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be that guy. I'm not going to be that guy, but I'm still enjoying the song. Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. I was like, I heard this. Wait a minute. Because I went back too far. I was, I was like right here. I'm so dumb, bro. I'm so dumb. Like I was like, like I was explaining earlier from this first like minute of the song, I was getting like these vague deja vu's of like not even deja vu's, but these vague memories of OSTs. But I was like, I can't put my finger on anything. Am I tripping? And this is just all new instrumental. And then I didn't want to say like I recognize something, and then it actually not been any BGM because then you would know, like you're tripping. You're just saying it to make it sound like you're knowledgeable. Okay, a little switch up. Love Mimi Q just sitting there. Okay, this- oh! oh, shit. Lavender Town, I don't fucking know. But I'm hearing a lot more than I recognize after the switch up. Maybe there's more notable ones here. I don't fucking know. Maybe more ones that are more up my alley. I don't think that's Lavender Town, but I recognize that. And then whatever's in my right ear right now, I recognize that too. The do -do -do. And this flow is crazy. What the fuck? Oh, it goes from like your normal Inabuki Mor Inabaki Mori, like the first half of the song, and then the switch up. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Hey! Hey! Oh my god! Almost 20 minutes for a four minute song? Oh my goodness. My bad. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Dude. Okay, while we're here, I will show you. I, 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 will, I will show y'all because I was talking about earlier. This video right here, I made on my second channel, It Hates Everything. We got the Pokemon X Hatsune Miku collab tier list. I also play Project Sucka if y'all care about that. But yeah. Yeah. Dude, what a banger. This one's definitely going to take a lot more listening than Deco's to understand all of the references, though. Which makes me excited. Because even Deco's, which I thought was pretty straightforward, still had a lot that, upon more listens, I was like, ooh, ooh. Like, each time you listen to these, you're like, ooh. So, oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I'm impressed. I'm genuinely so impressed with this one. Shout out to Inabakimori, man. Once again, proving why such a fucking banger uh, producer, man. Holy shit. Uh, I'm not going to waste any more more your time. Please subscribe if you're new. Please check out the Pokemon playlist, the Vocaloid playlist on my channel, and the Pokemon X Miku playlist. They're all separate. But, um, yeah. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm out. I'm going to record more videos.